hey guys welcome back to my channel so today what i'll be doing is showing you guys this beautiful set basically i filmed um the her right hand and it was not a good view so i'll just start it from here this is her left hand and she wanted um they she don't want them um stiletto but more so of an almond shape so this color is Bright Lights by Glam and Glitz, and it's like a neon yellow, and I love this color so much. It's really, really pretty. And yeah, that's what we're really just gonna do there. The nails are already prepped and primed. I dehydrated them with ASP dehydrator and protein bond. So now we're just adding the color onto the nails, as you guys can see. And basically, this set was pretty, pretty simple. So I'm using my alpha brush number 10 as always my viva paper towels that i get and these viva paper towels are the cloth looking ones so they're not good for wiping the nails they're just good for observing the acrylic with your brush or the acrylic monomer with your brush anyway so you see me i kind of like don't have a little method going on sometimes i start in the middle sometimes at the top sometimes at the bottom like i literally don't it's just like a i go as i please i guess but technically the color you just want to make sure you're covering the whole nail um a pretty not too thin but a pretty good um layer as long as you're getting good coverage then that's what you're looking for mostly if the color has enough coverage with one layer then that's fine but sometimes i just like to add where i think it needs more color but yeah so after this we will be encapsulating the color with a clear acrylic and the acrylic that i'll be using will be me a secret clear powder
Okay, so here I am using the Mia Secret Clear Powder to encapsulate the color of the nail. And I'm just taking a good bead and putting it near the cuticle area because this is the kinky and it's very small. So that's I just chose to put it near the cuticle area and fade it downwards to the edge of the nail. And I think I added pretty much a good bead on the first one, so I didn't need to add a second. But here I'm adding it more so in the middle to build up the apex, which is like in the middle of the nail where the free edge and the fake nail will meet. So here I am doing the cuticle area closer and then cleaning up around the edges and making sure there's not a lot of, of a lot of acrylic that will be stuck to the skin. So when I start filing, there's not a lot of work there to be done. Then I added just a little more at the edge. And then a little more at the cuticle area. And that's just how I usually do it. I'm just trying to make sure I'm encasing it properly. I'm looking at different angles to see if um, I need to add any more on any areas. So if there's any lumps or bumps, I'm trying to prevent. The smoother and more even you apply your acrylic the less filing you'll have to do in the end so always keep that in mind you guys and if you're a beginner i would suggest you start with number eight number 10 and if you're more advanced i personally had a number 12 alpha brush but i messed it up like i didn't know how to take care of it so that's why i'm with this number 10 but i actually don't mind it i've heard that they've changed for some reason like i know the alpha brushes have increased in price but I've also went on the website and I noticed they didn't have a number 12 anymore. I don't know, so I'm going to correct me if I'm wrong. So here, unfortunately, you can't see me, but I'm basically just filing the sides and removing any... I'm actually using a an, an actual file, not an electric file, but I'm using a file, 100, 180 file, to remove any of the acrylic that's stuck on the skin on the sides and the nail grooves. And I'm just going to do that on all the nails. Sorry that you can't see. Um, but that's basically the only step. I've done it in a couple of my videos. Oh, here's a better, a better look. So basically, yeah, I'm just filing the sides, removing any of that acrylic that's stuck on the sides. And that'll help a lot when you start e-filing on the nail.
All right, so we're gonna just go ahead and go around the cuticle area with my e-file and this is a medium carbide bit. So I go around the cuticle area and then I do the surface and I go under the nail if need be. So that's all I really do. And then I make sure that all the surface is smooth and there's no lumps and bumps. So yeah, you can see how much, for me, it's easier to do colored acrylic because the color is basically indicating where the color stops and the acrylic stops. So it's just easier for me to see like when I start seeing the natural nail plate, when you start filing on the cuticle area to remove any excess acrylic that could be stuck on the skin or the cuticle. So it's like a good, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a good frame. So you know what you need to remove basically or like basically the word i was looking for is it's a good guide so it'll t the color shows where it is and if you've removed it basically it's a bold it's bold and it's not clear so it's not invisible basically you can see where the if there's any obviously this color is like a neon yellow so you'd be able to see oh there's there is there neon yellow on her skin is there a space between the neon yellow and her natural nail and the skin basically if that makes any sense to you guys So now we're just gonna buff the nails and go underneath to make sure there isn't anything hanging out underneath there. And this just smooths our application for polishing. That when you go to polish with the gel top coat, everything's already smooth and there's no ugly looking scratches or anything like that. And once again, I forgot to use my dust collector. I, it's so new to me. Like I've been using without, I've been doing nails without for so long that I forget to take out my dust collector. Okay, so I just sprayed the hands and nails with alcohol and I'm just wiping it with a napkin. And these are bounty napkins that I cut up. The one underneath is also a bounty napkin. These are not the ones that I use to absorb my liquid from my brush. And then we're gonna take this finger here, this um, this ring finger, and I'm just applying some IBD LED curable gel on top. This is builder gel. 
by IBD, of course. And I cure it under my LED lamp. So I'm gonna put a little layer on there with a little gel brush that I've gotten. I think I got that brush on eBay. And it was pretty inexpensive. I don't remember how much, but I just know it was really, really cheap. And here I am adding a couple diamonds because I will be using pixie crystals. And I'm actually gonna just scatter them around randomly. And that way, when I add the pixie crystals, they look a lot more blingy and they pop. So I'm just going to add the pixie crystals and start pouring it over the nail and I keep the little container under so they can just fall back in there because they go all over the place. And you just want to make sure that they're not hanging all over the sides and stuff and you want to make sure you're adding everywhere that needs to be coated. So if you have any missing just go back and add more. And then tap the finger to re remove any excess and then just start going around the sides to make sure there's not too much crystals and that they don't start, you know, falling off the sides because it's not basically like you don't want any crystals bulking up the side. So you want to kind of push in and press around the nail just like that. So that's gonna go in my LED lamp. It's an SC lamp, and I'm gonna put it in for one minute to, to cure that gel. And that gel is gonna help encase basically all the crystals so there's less fallout. And I'm just gonna do the same thing on her other hand. Take some gel, some builder gel by IBD, and just go around this now on her ring finger and I'm just gonna take my wax pencil and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna grab a couple of these. I'm not sure what number they are. I think these might be fives or sixes, not too sure, but I believe they're either five or sixes. And then I'm just gonna do that and scatter them around as well. And we are gonna just be doing the same thing, taking the pixie crystals and pouring them over and putting them into the lamp also. So same technique. I use a cuticle pusher because it's just so much easier for me. Okay, and back in the lamp for one minute. Okay, now that I'm done with that, I'm gonna take out the other one that's already been cured, and I'm going to spray some alcohol on a napkin, or you could spray it onto the nail and remove the tacky layer from the gel and dry it up because I am gonna be taking Mia Secret. And I'll just take my Mia Secret gel resin and go around the nail, add a couple in the middle in between to encase those stones better and adding the, the Mia Secret gel resin activator spray to set it. And I'm just doing the same thing on this one, removing the inhibition layer, AKA the tacky layer, the sticky layer, whatever you guys wanna call it or know it by. You're just going to remove that with the alcohol and I'm going to do the same thing. Add some Mia Secret around and in between to encase it and apply the resin. So here we're just taking a regular gel top coat and this is a tack free one also, which is tackless, which means no sticky layer. And basically we're just going to go over all the nails and that's pretty much the whole thing.
and we're gonna put it into the lamp for one minute once again. And here I'm just adding some cuticle oil to finish the process. And she's basically done and she's just gonna get ready to take pictures. Basically the, the um, cuticle oil helps because of all the products that are going on right now, all the filing, so it causes a lot of dryness. So the cuticle oil helps revive the, the skin around the nails and the cuticle. All right guys, so here's me prepping to take her pictures and video. And here's a little clip and I actually uploaded this on my Instagram. And yeah, they look so pretty. I love this color. Look at that color, it just pops. It's so pretty and those crystals make it look so much nicer. Thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell button.